Manager. Restart sponsored by Credit One Bank. We're in overtime. Green flag. Johnson jumps out. There goes Kerr by Kyle. Kyle looking, looking. He's looking. Where's he going to go? Because that's at 18. Car Kyle Bush is on. We is on restarts. Johnson holds the bottom. Leaves the top side open. Tell you Comes up to cover the spot. Who didn't get a good restart? Is that Kevin Harvick? He spun the tires when he went to third gear. Crash back straight away. This will be the race. The race is over. Here they come. Around to the line. Looking for the flag. Four cars involved in the back. Johnson takes the white flag. Dale Jr., Kyle Busch. Caution is out. It's over in Atlanta. Wow. Per NASCAR's overtime rules, once Jimmy Johnson passed the overtime line on the backstretch, that was the official restart of overtime. The next flag would end the race. They did come to the line for the white flag under green. Caution out. David Reagan, Eric Almarola, and others involved. And Kevin Hart's got to be sick. Yeah, he spun the tires. Um, he got up his speed pretty good in, the, in second gear, but then he, when he went to go to third, you could see he spun the tires a little bit, or late in second gear. Then he got hit from behind by Mark Truex Jr. That even uh, took less. Um, it made, made him spin the tires even more. And then uh, Carl Edwards came in there and took them all three wide. See what happened Deep in here. the field on the back straightaway. Cars go spinning, including David Reagan, who ended up against the outside wall. That's Almirola smoking. On the left is Reagan. There's at least four cars involved. Another look in progress. There's Almirola. Reagan, Ryan Blaney. And the fourth car involved was Landon Castle. About mid-pack there. A bunch of those wave-around cars. What a wild finish. That doesn't come as a real big surprise, does it? And, you know, those were a lot of cars that had not taken tires. So they're on older tires yep, back yep. there, battling for those positions with a lot less grip. Yep. Obviously knocked the oil cooler off of it, and that's oil that's come underneath the car and has caught on fire. I've seen fire, and I've seen rain at this place. Jimmy Johnson will go to victory lane for the 76th time in his Sprint Cup career. Sunoco, fueling victories. I think he was trying to make a three down there, if I had to guess. He ties Dale Earnhardt for career wins. His fifth win in Atlanta leads all active drivers. And this becomes the sixth track on which driver number 48 has won at least five times.